All right. And the very last question today is from our remarkable Lisa and Rock. Vision into being. Hello, 20 in Victoria. Yo. Hello. <laughs> Neville speaks of the five senses as being why the seed of desire cannot be consummated. When we are lost in the world of facts and data, living in the end is not possible. Neville wrote, The future must become the present in the imagination of the one who would wisely and consciously create circumstances. We must translate vision into being, thinking of into thinking from. Thinking from the end is an, in, an intense perception of the world of fulfilled desire. We've explored awareness being and awareness being and remarkable. Please share as to why the five senses will always fail us in imagining and how awareness being makes the future our present reality. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Big ass crap. Oh, my God, DJ. <coughs> Sorry. The older I get, the more I feel like we've already done this and we're just watching the story unfold. Yes, sir. Mm. God, I've known this fella. Dude, you make me proud. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, my buddy DJ is watching the show. I have known him since he was Stumpy something. What was it? Stumpy something. And uh, I'm just proud of you, pal. So, uh, all right. Ready? Let's answer Lisa's question. Woman, be gone. Woman, be gone. Yes. Go out there and bring lunch. <laughs> you want me to, really? I want you to, really. Okay. Yeah. Woman, be gone. Woman, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. La, 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 So I tell her this morning, I says, look, how about if we do the leg of lamb tomorrow? Right? So how about if we do, what the fuck is all that? Oh, wait, no, we don't, yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> what do you mean we don't need it? We need the flesh. Well, right? so, 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 I'm going to do like a little Oh, this fricassee. is incredible. Look at that. Green, green things, pepper, red, green, green and red things. Tom, you're going to love this. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, fair enough. But then, right? What? Okay, so yes. uh, I propose fish, and so you know what I've imagined? Fish. And I tell her, what I'm going to do is I'm going to park at Coles, and then, God, where's she going now? What's she doing over there? Anyway, so I imagine fish, and I get to the store, and it's like 8.30, 8.35, and it's like radio, so I can't get wine for another 25 minutes, and so I structure it out, so it's like, I'm going to take a walk. And I take a walk from the from the store that I'm at to the other store. Now, the, the store that I parked at, I know, confusing, right? <laughs> the store that I parked at, their fish counter is closed for right now. Their deli is closed right now. And I was like, right. So I can't get fish there. So I walk over to the other store thing, and I'll get fish and a couple bebop a doobop things. So I bebop over there. And remember, we're talking about the evidence of the senses here right? <laughs> Which is not evidence. So I walk into Woolies and I strut back to the fish counter and it's full of empties. And the lady says, can I help you? I'm like, this is going to be a gas. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got some shopping to do, but any chance can I stop back and get some fish in a little bit? And she goes, I'll have it out in about an hour and a half. <laughs> says, well, you know, Wait, I'll, be, <laughs> I, I'll be back, but not today. Have a lovely time, right? right radio. So all the fish in Eltham is gone. Hmm. Right? It, it's just not there anymore. Hmm. But I've imagined fish, right? I've just really just gone deep into just some skin on yeah. salmon, yeah. Uh, some barramundi. Mm. And when we do that, I tend to have burgers. So I'm like, all right. So no fish. So I leave Woolies, which should have fish, but Thelma's not there. Love me, Thelma. And uh, I go back to Coles. I unload the shit that I got at Woolies into the car. I go into Coles, and I can't find any fish anywhere. It's not where it was the week before. They had some prepackaged fresh fish, and it's like, all right, nothing there. It's all cheese now. Right. 
I say hi to Bacon Girl. She's a vegan. <laughs> bacon Girl. Yeah, she, she puts out the bacon, but she's a vegan. We have a lovely talk oh, about well, Prince playing 27 <laughs> instruments. Right? She's just darling. Yes. Uh, uh, it looks like it's coming out of your snow. Yes. And, and so uh, I look around. I can't find any fish. And then this lovely little girl walks towards me that works there. And says, excuse me, lovely little girl that works here. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever her name is. And I, and I said, any chance we've got fish? Because the counter's gone and I, my wife. And she goes, oh, yeah. So she walks me over to this little area that's about the size of an iPad vertically that has fish, right? Mm. Now, they've only got about six packs of fish, right? Mm. So it's hard to see. It's a little thin area. Would have never expected it. And so here's what happens. The first thing I see, look at the color of this. Wild Alaska sockeye salmon. Look at that. It's skin on, which is, yeah, you can't really yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. That's what we like. And it's like not only skin on, it's also like money off. It's like four bucks off. It's like, oh, I got me a bargain, right? That'll be fun. And then it's like, all right. But I've also imagined up barramundi. Well, hidden behind some other shit is barramundi. Look at that. Yeah. Right, so it's like money's off too. It's skin on barramundi. Oh my god, that's going to be delicious. Thin cut, it'll cook up perfectly. Oh my yes. god, that's like remember. So we're having fish, and I like me some burgers. Yes, and my favorite burger is, is <coughs> lamb burger. Right? I just mm. love lambs. They're all cuddly, and you can eat them. Right. <laughs> so, so, so look at that. So I got me some lamb, lamb mince. <laughs> no, lambs are cuddly. Burgers you oh, can eat. I see. And I got that for five bucks versus seven bucks. It's like, oh, this is great. Right? Go, go, go. So I'm just having fun. So I'm imagining up as usual. Yeah, I got great deals, good prices, exactly what I wanted. And so I got barramundi skin on, thin sliced. I got some awesome sockeye salmon. The color is just incredible. Got me some lamb mince, and it's going to be a delightful meal. Now, here's the thing. If I settled for the evidence of the senses, mm. right? Oh, wouldn't have happened. Yeah. But I felt fish, and it just I, I just felt into it. I accepted it. That's what's for lunch. Mm. I'm accomplished and satisfied. That's right, Beth. And it's yes. and and it's and it's it's it wouldn't have consummated uh, if if I debated about it. If if I if I started imagining letting her down. Oh, well, that could be yeah. fun. Uh, well, Victoria, we were going to have fish, but we're going to have prawns and burgers. Like some prawns yeah, I was well. going to say we got to do some prawns, right? <laughs> yes. But, but it's like, oh, right, it consumed me. There was a consumption. There, there, there was this, I, I love the word consumé, right? It's like a soup. Yes. Right? Yes. Hey, can, you, can you pull it apart? No, it's, it's a meld. It's, it's a meld. Yes. So a consommé. Yeah, yeah. And so whenever you say, I'll have some of the consommé, please. Yeah. Right? Uh, you're not going to pick it apart with a fork. And that's actually really good because with it being like a meld, like it all working together, when we think about our senses, yes. it's not like, oh, I can smell it or I can see it or whatever. It's like this thing of all of it coming together and that, Consummation. Consumé. I actually, because I I know I've used the word, I hear the word, but when I saw Lisa's question, it's like, well, hang on a minute, what does actually consummated me? <laughs> so I quickly jumped into Google, and it was exactly that, um, Elizabeth. It was accomplished. It was this feeling of accomplished, satisfied. Nice. And I thought, I didn't know oh, that. it just goes straight back to what. Oh, well, what we keep sharing, right? You've been sharing the yeah, yeah, feeling yeah. of accomplished and satisfied. So, um, and I can see with with um, marriage, accomplished and satisfied, like uh, bearing children, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of sure. that. Is, it's all of that. So the two become one. We've talked about the consummation of marriage. Mm. We've talked about when the sperm and the egg mm. whoosh, right, become mm. something, not just sperm and egg. Yeah. Right? So uh, something which we've introduced in Remarkable that we'll be <laughs> doing on the Dream Call, join remarkable.com, actually the call in, not this weekend, next weekend. Mm. Uh, I, I tossed out the concept of split states. 
a split state would have me aware of that there's none and aware of that I did that and try to get from one to the other. And it's, it's, it, a split state feels like this. I'm getting a massage while thinking about sending out the email. I'm think I'm sending out the email while thinking about getting a massage. I'm never fully present anywhere. In other words, I'm hedging my bets. I'm going to marry her, but I'm going to make sure I've got boundaries and we both have our own money. Prenuptials. Pre yeah, pre prenup. <laughs> because if she spends too much money and I still have some left over, guess who's in charge at the end of the month of all the happiness, right? And people do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah versus radio. Mm. Right? Here it is. Whoak, right? Mm. By the oh. way. So this is contagious as well, just for fun. Let's toss this on. So she's got this creme. I know, I just, <laughs> she, she puts the creme on, and and, and she and, and and you can just watch her go. Oh, I too. I right. just knew it. <laughs> and, and she'll and she'll ooze like slime mold through the house. <laughs> just just because yeah, slime mold, whenever it get there's no food, it moves. It's really cool. It sort of grows appendages and moves, right? And so. She'll come to the house like all, all, like, whoa. Oh, yeah, at the moment. <laughs> well, see, I actually did it, right? <laughs> yes. so, so I allowed myself to get totally disoriented there, right? <laughs> so, uh, she'll be so all, 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 all into it, uh, that I'll do it. Oh, mm. I, mm. I just adore it. Mm. Now, a while back, she said, Hey, I hope this doesn't bother you. I like, I know how you are with perfumes. I hate perfumes. He does. Right? Yeah. If you put, got a perfume on and want to hug, right? You know, yeah, he, he yeah. So, yeah. You ain't coming, you, you ain't coming yes. near me, right? Yes. So, <clears throat> but she says, I, I hope this doesn't. I said, No, 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 no. I, 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 I am consumed mm. by it. Mm. And Neville says, By the way, hey, your state. Wear it as though it were a fragrant odor. odor. Yeah, yeah. By the way, if you love this kind of shit, join Remarkable.com. Second crass commercial. This is where we play in there, and this is something that I can't really talk about in the public groups. I'll put it in this because Lisa asked, and I love that Lisa asked this because this is where I like to explore. The whole thing of, what are the seven steps to manifest my special person, and he doesn't have free will, and I'm like, oh, fuck me, dude. Right? On the other hand, this. Mm. Mm. So, very cool. How do we do? I think you did ace because yeah. that was initially. I got a bit. I'm not confused, but it was like, well, hang on, I don't really get this because, because, and that was my exact example to you. Like when I put that cream on, yes, and I shut my eyes, <laughs> and my whole world, as I smell it in, is just that smell. It's just so defined. My whole world. It is. It's just gorgeous. And so I said, well, hang on, I don't, I don't get that then. But it's my experience. It's like you said, it's my experience of the odor. It's yes. not the odor, that thing out there. Do you yes. know what I mean? It's so internal. So, yes. Yeah. And your experience invites mm. me to that experience. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody's probably going to want to know, what is that? What is the creme? <laughs> Show me the creme. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Some people might hate it. I love it. Yeah. Do you want me to get it? No. No. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We already need a woman to be gone. Hey, let, be gone. Uh, let us know yes. on this show. Should we have a, uh, every time we do a show, have a woman be gone moment? A where woman I, be gone. Yeah, where okay. I order, woman be gone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let me know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Cool. All, All right. right. So excellent. Thank you, uh, Thank you very much for that, Lisa, for your question. And what we want to know is tell us what was your hashtag strawberry bit. That is the rightness. Um, oh, so many goody bits in this show because, I mean, the one bit where I just had no idea what it was. Anyway, I was remembering the time that I was knocking on the window of the American consulate. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> hey, and they saying to the guard... Can you please get him? I need some money. <laughs> right. So so I'm up on the 13th floor of the embassy or, or consulate or whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> Something like the 13th floor. And you have to go through checkpoints and body searches and shit like that pretty much. And they're like, your wife needs you. <laughs> that was hilarious. All was right. <laughs> so, so, so I go back downstairs. Hey, guys, my voice is my passport. Verify me. And she's outside going. 
It's like, okay, can, can I slide twenty dollars through the crack? Right? <laughs> I had no idea I was doing anything wrong. And I guess that's why it oh, was yeah. just that was so good. It was <laughs> and enabled it all to happen. It was lovely. <laughs> yeah, and um, I love and I was love really grateful for that last question of Lisa's. Yes. Um, just because I thought I knew what consummated was, and then it sort of opened up a whole new ball game of questioning. Yeah, yeah, and nice. understanding and seeing when I checked in Google, accomplished and satisfied, then <laughs> asked you because nice. I said it's even like this cream. It's like it's a cream. Oh, and it was. Um, it's nothing to do with the cream. It's nothing to do with what you see here, touch. For, it's yes. your experience of that and yes. how important that is. Yes. Like, yeah, so, and Natilla, that feeling of yes. of feeling home, I just so, so got that. I oh, crumbs, I think I had that feeling for... When you found this house. 15 years. <laughs> when you found this house and you felt home here. Yeah, yeah. Odds of anybody else buying it? Yeah. Zero. Yeah. She even told them. She Victoria, historically, is not someone that raises her voice to people. And she <laughs> ended up at the auction. But there's people bidding. Yeah, and, yes. she, and she turned and basically said something like, go away. Yeah, this, this is, is mine. mine. Yeah. Right? My home. Yeah. Right, and the guy she was bidding is against. He's he's a great friend of ours now. He is. We call him up, and he goes, "Oh, it's you." Yeah, I don't even have to say who I am. It's the voice. He owns a construction business, so it was just. <laughs> it was funny when we first saw him. After all of that had happened. Yeah. <laughs> you cost me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He cost her twenty you grand. Cost me twenty grand. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. How about you, babe? My strawberry bit. You know, it's funny uh, to have. Two other people from Fayette County here on the show, given the subject of the yeah, show, that I think lo- I'm really that's touched. Lovely. Frank, uh, and DJ. Frank and DJ, you and guys. Who's the other one? Oh, that's them. I'm the third. Oh, you're the third. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, forgot about you. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, forget about me. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. The uh, I just love the way they all come together, and it is like this whole consummate experience at the end. Mm. Uh, I live for these shows. I live for the group calls. I love the one-on-ones as well. Uh, but you guys that aren't in there, really consider, would you like this kind of play and exploration in your life? Because I think you said it really well, that the exploration of this led to a whole new ball game. It's yeah. a, and a remarkable, I don't ex- sit there and explain shit, right? That's just boring as fuck to me. I, we also have products that explain shit, right? Mm. That's fine. Uh, I invite exploring you. Plain and simple. Right, I got a lot of stuff that explains stuff, but my favorite products are all shit that invite you to explore you. And uh, and that's what it's all about. So if your awareness of being is God and you are how God has the adventure of a lifetime, uh, what would happen if you explored you? Not just set up for an explanation about you. So, but I just, uh, I'm touched by all the questions and all the people. Yes, and, uh, fabulous show. Lisa, that. thank you for buttoning the show up beautifully with us yeah yeah so. how much it all sort of worked in with everyone's questions as well it always does that always does <laughs> cool cool okay so meanwhile how to feel it real.com if yes. you're just getting beginning with us <laughs> what we do sign up for that you'll get the daily email and the seven videos and all that stuff it's a lot of fun uh you'll notice we don't do a lot of things like chanting or crystals no. right or chanting with crystal <laughs> Yes. Uh, the second thing, join remarkable.com. Uh, it's a hundred bucks a month, right? You get a group call, Facebook group, a whole bunch of free goodies right now. That's going to be changing around a bit, but, uh, we got a hell of a good group of people that are willing to explore. Yeah. And, uh, that and that's what I live for. You yeah. know, just, uh, I got to tell you, it really does drive me nuts. How do I manifest the same thing that 400 other people have ever asked? And we share, and it's like, right? And it's like, wow. But if you explore you, all the other stuff makes sense in ways that you can't imagine. Mm. But if you're just looking for a way to solve problems, Remarkable's not for you. Mm. If you're if you're wanting to explore a whole fascinating, lovely way of life, join Remarkable.com. Crass commercial, over. 
you. Love you, darling. What a Love lovely, you, yummy show. Yeah. Tune back in in a couple hours and see the lunch video. That's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <clears throat> never settle, always soar. See ya.